Hell's up, y'all. It's Calvin and D. Watch your today about RDC World. This is how everybody calling Kanye after his album dropped. Listen, all this fake drama surrounding Kanye's album is so annoying. <laughs> and it's so blatantly fake. Like, really? Soulja Boy then came out talking about, oh, Kanye a hoe for leaving me off the album. And then here come Chris Brown. Oh, yeah, Kanye a bitch. He left me off, too. It's like, What? <laughs> Soldier Boy, sure, I could see him addressing something this stupid, but Chris Brown, like you're Chris fucking Brown and you are complaining because Kanye left you off of his album. Like, and Chris has been super quiet lately. He's been hella out the way, so this just don't make no type of sense. And it's not even like this is something new. This happens with artists all the time. A lot of artists that are featured on songs, they don't make the final cut of, of someone's album. So it's just like... For them to react this dramatically about it is just so extra. It's so fake. And it's like, really? And you might be like, oh, well, it's Kanye. He don't need no extra buzz. He would. Trust me. All of these artists, no matter how big they are, they all benefit from having drama and buzz surrounding shit that they release. They, they all benefit. So don't think that, oh, because someone is super popular, they don't need to do publicity stunts and shit they do they all do it so don't don't be fooled it's, it's just nonsense but anyway let's see uh what rdc says let's watch <laughs> random hey kanye bro you a whole ass nigga bro for real i put my heart and soul in that motherfucking brace and you just took my shit off <laughs> say something nigga <laughs> Hey Kanye, it's Mark from Universal. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm the one who put the album out. I do wanna say I'm sorry, but you went to like six stadiums and I'm not gonna sit there and let you go to uh, like a 50 stadium state tour. I don't know what you were planning, uh, but not on my watch. <laughs> not on my watch. Yeah, that shit was trash, bro. Was... Oh, here he is. Yo, Kanye, yo, it's Drake, man. Hey, congratulations on the album. It was <laughs> fire. And those features, they really came through for you. Right? But, but yeah, man, hey, I feel like that everybody's going to be listening to this album till like Thursday at midnight or something like that. I don't know what's going on there. I don't know. But yeah, tell the wife, the kids, and push it. Tell them all I said what's up, though, man. That's funny because I feel like Drake is really fake like this. Like, he look like he fake and he seemed like he'll be doing some shit like this. Like, he'll be talking shit behind these artists' back, but then when he sees them in person, he's like, hey, what's up, dog? Like, I could totally see him doing that. Um, but yeah, I have not heard this album yet. I listened to the first two songs, but I was turned off by all the censoring. And I thought it was my Spotify fucking up or some shit, but then I Googled it. And everybody is saying they only have access to the censor version. Like, what is this, Kanye? I am not a child. I don't want to hear these curse words bleeped out. That really turned me off. So I stopped at the second song. I was like, mm -hmm. I think I'm going to wait for the explicit version to drop, if it's even dropped. I don't know if it's even going to drop, though. Is it dropping? Who knows? So maybe I'll, I'll listen to the whole thing. Because, um, yeah, I didn't see anything about them saying that it's going to drop soon. That's really trash if he just keeps the censored version out. Anyway, um, I really like uh, Off the Grid. I like that song a lot. Um, and it has Playboy Cardi on it, which is surprising because I don't like him. His voice is just really annoying to me but it was a little tolerable on that song and i really like uh fabio's verse so yeah i fuck with that song the production is really good and then i heard jail uh with jay-z um not really a fan if i kept listening to it over and over again i could see it growing on me but i don't want to do that so i just skipped that song decided not to save it um but yeah i'll listen to the whole thing i'm not sure what people are saying about it if they're saying it's good or not I haven't looked up any reviews, but we'll see. We'll, we'll see if it's good. I'm mainly looking forward to Drake. I ain't even gonna lie to you. That's what I'm looking forward to. I'm super excited to hear that. Uh, but yeah, this is a funny video though. <laughs> y'all let me know what y'all thought. Let me know what other videos I'm gonna watch and I'll see y'all next time.